Well, hey everybody, Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, this week, talking about balance, talking about loving each other, talking about Philippians 2.12, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And we're not supposed to be out trying to pick fights and throw rocks. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us to avoid foolish disputes for the generate strife. I want you to imagine this picture today. Someone living in a luxurious house, more than 0.2 acres, uh, someone with two cars, someone running the air conditioning whenever it's over 72 degrees, running the heat whenever it's under 72 degrees, and then that person ha criticizing preachers who say God wants us blessed. Listen, God does want us blessed because he wants us to be a blessing. And many times the people who are complaining, well, God doesn't want us to prosper and all that prosperity, blah, 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 they're enjoying lavish prosperity. I'm reminded of the Good Samaritan in Luke's gospel. The Bible says when he came across a man who was hurt and wounded, he took that man and checked him into a hotel and made sure there was medical care given made sure there were meals given, and said, put all this on my account. I'll pay for it. And can I tell you today, can you think about the costs associated with putting somebody in a hotel for two nights, buying their meals for two days, and checking in to make sure they had a, a medical visit? You'd be looking at over 500 US dollars. Well, somebody to be able to be that kind of a blessing has to have $500 in their bank account that they can part with in the name of being a blessing. And there are people who are raging against prosperity, and yet to preach the gospel, it takes a lot of money. And to help people, it takes a lot of money. Everybody says, oh man, the church ought to feed the homeless, ought to shelter the homeless, the church ought to help the poor. Yes, we should, but you got to have somebody prospering to be able to help somebody who's in need. And so I just want to bring balance today. Don't be throwing rocks at each other. And if you don't understand a doctrine or maybe the, or someone's reason, maybe you should call and ask them. Because there's a lot of people, and, and, and social media empowers people to put opinions out there that aren't researched, that aren't vetted, and that sometimes really aren't helping anybody. They're bringing division and causing people to throw rocks at one another. I just think, man, think about us in the United States, how blessed we are. And yet, there are people who are throwing rocks. Well, if we have more than a postage stamp size lot, if we have more than a thousand foot square home, if we have more than one vehicle that's less than five years old, we are abundantly blessed and prosperous. And we ought to be the last ones criticizing somebody else's prosperity. I hope that helps you. And I'm not trying to put anybody down, but I'm trying to help bring balance to our lives so that we rejoice when our brother rejoices and we mourn when our brother mourns. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.